Hey guys, it's Marcus and Pentec, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Dell ultra wide 49 inch curved display. It's been in quite a lot of my videos and it's become somewhat of a talking point when I show people my desk setup as monitors this large and this wide are quite uncommon. So I thought I'd share with you my thoughts and opinions after using it for almost four months. Stat wise, it's a 49 inch curved display with a 32 by nine aspect ratio and a resolution of 5120 by 1440, which is the equivalent of two 24 and a half inch 1440p monitors side by side. It's an IPS panel, so you get great viewing angles, which is especially important when you have a monitor this wide. It has two HDMI, one display port, and one USB-C Thunderbolt 3 connection for display inputs. It also has five USB 3.0 type A ports for downstream and two USB 3.0 type B ports for upstream. So plenty of ports. Now let's go into why I bought this monitor. So if you don't know, for my main job, I'm a software developer, specifically Python. My main tool is a MacBook Pro 16 inch. If you'd like me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments. And I used to have two mismatched monitors, one 24 inch 1080p and one 27 inch 1440p. So that was fun. But the main thing that bothered me was the amount of cables and dongles I needed to get everything to work. I would need one cable for power, two cables for monitors, plus the two dongles to get them to work. And if I wanted to connect anything else, then I'd probably need dongles for that too. And I'd only be able to connect one more thing because the MacBook Pro only has four ports. So my main goal was to consolidate everything and have as little cables as possible. I first looked into getting two 1440p monitors and connecting them via DisplayPort so I could daisy chain them. That way I would only need one cable to drive both of them. However, after some research, I learned that the MacBook Pros have some issues with DisplayPort MST and that's the technology that's used to achieve that. I then started looking at ultrawides, which is where I came across the Dell U4919DW. Now it wasn't cheap, 1,080 pounds in fact. So it was definitely more expensive than buying two 1440p monitors. And as much as I love having a clean setup with minimal cables, this would still only take me from three cables down to two since I still need a power cable, or at least that's what I first thought. So the main thing that sold it to me was that this monitor had a USB-C connection which provided Thunderbolt 3 with 90 watts of power. If that flew right over your head, no worries. What it means is that I could simply connect my MacBook Pro to the display with a single cable and it would not only drive the monitor at full resolution, but it would also charge my MacBook and provide USB type A connections by the ports on the screen. To me, this is a game changer. If you've ever owned a MacBook, then you already know about dongle life and it's just the worst. On a side note though, the USB-C cable that comes with the monitor is not Thunderbolt 3, so you'll have to buy that separately to achieve this setup. Onto the picture. So for what I do, which is write code, the picture is perfect. You get a really sharp image with accurate colors covering 99% of the sRGB color space. The real estate is insane. I usually have Chrome, my code editor, and a terminal window all on the screen at once with plenty of room for each of them. It is a curved display, but only slightly. The curvature is rated at 3800R, which to me is unnoticeable, but definitely needed when you have a monitor this wide. It's a lot less aggressive than other monitors, such as the Samsung Odyssey G9, which have curvature ratings of 1000R. The monitor supports P by P or picture by picture. On one half of the screen, you can have one input and on the other half, you can have another input. So you can maybe have your Mac on one side and Windows on the other, or you could even simulate two displays by connecting your computer to the monitor twice. Not sure why you do that, but you can if you want. For the gamers out there, it's definitely nice having the extra field of view, but you will need quite a high-end GPU to hit 60 FPS on max res at the highest settings. My 1070 Ti can manage it on some titles, but then the more demanding ones, I find myself either turning down the settings or changing the resolution to 3840 by 1080. It's also worth noting that this monitor is only 60 Hertz, so the refresh rate isn't gonna blow you away. If you are looking to do a lot of gaming, then I would recommend you look at the Samsung Odyssey G9, which has the same size and resolution, but with a refresh rate of 240 Hertz and support for HDR 1000. This Dell is a great monitor, but it does have some downsides. One of which being, it has no speakers or audio out. What that means is that the device you're gonna to connect to this display will either have to handle its own sound or connect to an external source for sound. If you were to connect the games console, for example, you would have to use either the optical out or split the audio before it gets to the display. 
if you are just using it for computers, then it's not too much of a big deal because they normally have their own 3.5 millimeter jack to plug speakers or headphones into. When I'm working, I don't really care for sound too much. So the built-in MacBook Pro speakers have me covered. And my desk speakers are connected directly to my Windows PC. Another downside is that this monitor does give off quite a bit of heat. However, that's just me nitpicking. I'm sure you probably wouldn't even notice it. So overall, it's an amazing monitor. I would say my productivity has definitely gone up as it has removed a lot of hassle with dongles and I do get a lot more real estate now. However, it is quite expensive and if you don't mind having a couple of extra cables about, then you'd probably be just as productive with two monitors. For me though, it was perfect and I would definitely recommend it for someone looking for a similar setup. If you have a MacBook or laptop with few ports, then it definitely simplifies your life whilst giving you an excellent viewing experience. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.